Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today, we need to talk about a bunch of double trainer cards. Yeah, that's right. Double trainer cards. Not single trainer cards. Not trainer cards where you're going to be playing one at a time or any of that rubbish. No, 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 no. I am talking about double trainer cards. Trainer cards where I have no interest in playing one. I'm going to be playing two. They are cross receiver and cross switcher. They are actually fusion item cards. And these look good. Incidentally, there are some important questions that have been raised by the existence of these cards. We will get to them as we go through the video as well. So let's start off with Cross Switcher. Now, Cross Switcher says you must play two Cross Switcher cards at once in order to get the effect. And the effect works one time for both cards. Incidentally... In the past, when we've had cards like this, they've also done something when you play just one copy of the card. That is not the case here. You cannot play one of the cards. You can't even play it to get it out of your hand. It is stuck in your hand. One card does nothing. But it lets you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. And if you do, you switch your active with one of your bench. Or to put it another way, Guzma. It is an item version of Guzma. If you play two at the same time, and it's not just that nothing happens if you play one, you can't play one. And this is kind of cool because item, gusting, playing two at the same time, we've seen this before. It's custom catcher. Now, custom catcher I actually much prefer. It was just gusting. It didn't have a switch as well. But Custom Catcher also, if you played one, you drew until you had three cards in your hand. It was great if it was the last card in your hand. It was actually really cool. And what's also really weird is that Custom Catcher was not the first time we saw this. Because back in the Diamond and Pearl era, we had Poker Blower Plus that came around in Stormfront. And if you played one, you flipped a coin. And if heads, you put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. But if you played two, it was gusting. So this is the third iteration of the same card. And my advice for this is exactly the same as my advice for Poker Blower, which did see play. And Custom Catcher, which did see play. Although we did have a format where Guzma had rotated out. And that was where Custom Catcher really shined. But it did see play before that happened. If you can reliably search these out, go for it. Trying to hope to draw both of them off a professor's research, you can, but the reality is it's unlikely to work. And the fact that you can only play two at the same time really does mean, you know, with Custom Catcher, you at least had that potential to draw a card or two, or if you were really lucky, three, by playing a single version. That's not the case here. So you really do need to be able to search. The good news is at the moment, everyone's playing Drizzile. Like Inteleon is hyper popular and everyone's playing the Drizzile from Sword and Shield. And when you evolve into the Drizzile from Sword and Shield, you get to search your deck for any trainer card and put it into your hand. Now it's only one, but obviously you're hoping you've got one in hand. You use Drizzile to search for the other. Of course, in these Inteleon decks, it is not unusual to tech in one of the Inteleon from Sword and Shield with the ability to search his two trainer cards. And obviously here, that's amazing because you can essentially play Professor's Research, get Inteleon from Professor's Research, and then evolve into it and grab both of these to use for gusting. It is a phenomenal card, and it is a phenomenal card. Do remember you've got to switch at the same time, which can be a huge downside. Because if the Pokemon, the only Pokemon you are happy to attack with is your active, you have got to have something on the bench that you can switch into and then retreat out of, or else you're not going to be able to use it. That is something you need to bear in mind. But it's a phenomenal card. Just remember, if you're going to be doing this, you've got to have a way to really search out at least one of them or else it's really not that reliable. I do at this point need to remind you about the Smeargle from the set, and the Smeargle has some of the best artwork we have ever seen, which does for a single energy, choose up to two Fusion Strike Trainer cards from your discard pile, reveal them and put them into your hand. 
Clearly, it's made for this and the next thing I'm going to tell you about in a moment, because essentially you put two of these back into your hand and either your opponent disrupts your hand or you're guaranteed to win next turn because you've got the gusting ready. This is why Smeargle exists. Now, why they revealed Smeargle without revealing these double fusion item cards, I don't understand, because this is why Smeargle is good. But if anyone was, was wondering what's going on with Smeargle, yeah, this. Now, I have had some people go, well, this guarantees that we're not getting boss's orders back. And no, no, it doesn't. Because we had Custom Catcher released when we already had Guzma. And then Boss's Orders was released before Custom Catcher rotated out. Custom Catcher didn't stop them printing Boss's Orders. So why would this stop them reprinting it? And I have heard, well, hang on a second, Wossy. Right now, we've got Escape Rope. And we've got this. And we've got Umbreon. So there's no way that they are also going to reprint Boss's Orders and give us all of them in the same format. And all I can tell you is, yeah, they, they literally did that back in the Sun and Moon era. Because I've already told you about Custom Catcher. And I've already told you about Guzma. And we had Escape Rope. Now, to be fair, Escape Rope was kind of tail end of black and white. But still, it was around that time. And we had Lycan Rock who had the same ability as Umbreon. So, we've had these cards kind of all together before, so, no. They're, they're, not, they're not similar enough. They're too different, is where I'm going with this. Actually, to be fair, we did have Escape Rope in Burning Shadows as well, and Burning Shadows was a Sun and Moon era set, so I kind of feel vindicated on that one. My point is... This has happened before. We've had all these cards before. And this is absolutely not proof. Now, I'm not saying they will reprint boss's orders. I don't know if they will or not. I don't work for Pokemon. But I am telling you that this argument of, well, we've got Escape Rope and Umbreon and this. We don't need boss's orders as well. They wouldn't do that. Completely falls down. Because in the Sun and Moon era, we had Escape Rope. And we had Custom Catcher. And we had Lycan Rock. And we had Guzma to start, and then they brought in Boss's Orders. So no, this is not proof we're not getting Boss's Orders. Not saying we are getting Boss's Orders back. I personally think we are, incidentally. Though that's nothing but a prediction. But you cannot look at this card and use it as proof that we're not getting a reprint of Boss's Orders. Because in the Sun and Moon era, we had all these cards. And then they printed Boss's Orders right at the start of Sword and Shield. Before stuff like Custom Catcher had rotated out. But the next card we need to take a little bit of a look at is Cross Receiver. Very similar card. It's a fusion card. You've got to play two at the same time. And you put a Pokemon or a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. You ain't using this to get a Pokemon card. I mean, I suppose you could. But you really shouldn't. This is not built for Pokemon cards. It's Versus Seeker. This is literally Versus Seeker. You play two at the same time. And it does what Versus Seeker did. Now, I do like the fact that you can also get a Pokemon. It does give it that extra utility. There will be times where you've got Cross Receiver and nothing else. So you use it to grab a Crobat and draw a new hand of six cards. And that would actually be really cool. But generally speaking, this is used as Versus Seeker. And we don't need to talk much about Versus Seeker because we've had that in the not-too-distant past. It's an item card that reuses supporter cards. It's nuts good broken and everybody played it. It's phenomenal. It lets you reuse boss's orders for that game-winning gusting. Or doesn't even need to be game-winning, just the gusting. Or it'll get you Professor's Research to get a big new hand. Or it'll get you Marnie to get a new hand while disrupting your opponent or whatever you might need. It's not just that it reuses a supporter, but it's that it gives you a choice of which supporter to use. It's a phenomenal effect, but, and this is extremely important, the same caveat I just gave you for the last card. You need to really be able to search out at least one half of this to make it viable. If you're just hoping you're going to draw into both the cards, you're probably going to end up kind of disappointed. It's probably not going to work. You need to have some kind of plan. Obviously, decks that are playing Drizzle and Inteleon are going to love this. Now, whether they can find room in their deck is a different question. But the fact of the matter is, there's almost no reason to not at least consider it. 
It's a phenomenal card. And the weird thing is, this does tell us we're not getting Versus Seeker back. And the difference is, if we look at boss's orders compared to Cross Switcher, they're different things. It is supporter gusting compared to double item gusting. That's not the same thing. They can coexist. But you cannot have a single item that recovers a supporter in the same format as a double item that recovers a supporter because the single item would completely and utterly make the first one redundant. Yes, I know you can get a Pokemon back, but that's not the reason to play the card. We've also seen that Lantern card that specifically lets you get back a single strike supporter, but only lets you get back a single strike supporter. And the fact of the matter is, Pokemon are telling us super clearly, you ain't having Versus Seeker back. We have now given you two item cards that are weaker versions of Versus Seeker. And when they give you multiple cards that are weaker versions of an old card, you ain't having that old card back. Whereas Cross Switcher and Boss's Orders, they're not the same thing. And we've literally seen old versions of both of those cards coexist in the same format. And honestly, not that long ago. But this really does tell us we're not getting Versus Seeker back. But it's still a phenomenal card. And the deal is really simple. If you've got room in your deck and you think you can maybe search for at least one of them, it's a great card. Versus Seeker has always been great. But it is still a double card where you've got to play both at the same time. So I don't think you can get overly excited here. It is still super awkward. I'm giving both of these cards four wassies. And it's hard to really know what to do with these. Because on the one hand, they're great. And on the other hand, they're super awkward. So I don't know, four wassies and we'll figure it out from here. Certainly we've got Pokemon that search item cards at the moment. And that gives them a real chance. But for now, I want to know what you think about these, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know if you're going to play them. I want to know how good you think they are. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.